Matt? Huh? Throw it back like a Cadillac. Okay, so good morning everyone. This is, I guess, the start to my first official vlog. Yay! Right now it's Friday morning. I just ate breakfast. I just finished getting ready. My roommate went to work and I won't be seeing her because today, me and my sister Sarah, she's also our other roommate, so there's three of us living in the apartment. Um, we're heading down and visiting our other sister, Hannah, this weekend because we have been planning some sort of cooking weekend for about a month because Hannah's boyfriend, Matt, him and I, love to cook from scratch and we both have so many ideas and we both have a lot of different ways of cooking and so we're really excited to cook and just have fun and hang out and I know that quarantine is going on but luckily we've been staying inside except for work and they've been staying completely inside so we haven't come into contact with anybody else and we're only going to go to the apartment and hang out with them for the weekend so we feel pretty safe about what we're doing of course we're going to wash our hands yada yada all that quarantine stuff that's a hey, super important um please don't be going out in public with large groups i've already seen instagram posts you don't need to hear it from me but please just stay safe um Anyway, so that's the plan for this weekend, and it's going to be pretty exciting, so I think I'll document most of all we're cooking, and I can put ingredients list down in the description if you guys are interested, but yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty fun weekend, so yeah. Okay, guys, I just want to quickly introduce you to my roommate, and freshman roommate, actually, best friends for... Dos. Dos años. <laughs> We're both bilingual, um, <laughs> and she's headed off to Sprouts, but I just wanted to introduce you really quick because she will be on this vlog way too much. Um, she's making a nice little salad right now. Ooh, look at that aesthetic. She also works at Sprouts. Are we allowed to say that? Like, yeah. the brand? Yeah, it's fine. She, but we'll disclaim she does not speak for Sprouts or the brand. Her opinions do not <laughs> portray the opinions of the company, um, and... There she is, so oh, wow. there you guys go. Lizzie is just a little bit camera shy, so she didn't really want to be on the vlog too long, so I didn't want to put her on the spot, you know. Uh, she'll get used to it. She'll have to get used to it. Lizzie, if you're watching, you better get used to it. But I just want to tell you a little bit more about her. Uh, we met our freshman year. She was my freshman roommate. Um, and literally since then, we've been like this. We've done so many things together, so many cool adventures. And now we're living together in very, very close quarters. Little bunk bed action going on. And she's just a really, really great person. She's also a psychology major, so both of us are in the psychological sciences. Um, so her emphasis is actually, it's cool because she's a music minor. So she thinks she might want to go into music therapy or something like that. Super cool. She um, is a really great flautist. That's what they call flute players, I guess. And a piccolist? 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 She plays the piccolo as well uh, for the NAU um, orchestra. I think I probably got that wrong, but anyway, so she's super into music and everything like that. And super into nature. Uh, she's the reason we have so many trees in our room. I mean, I love them too, but she definitely got me more into them than I was before. She helps keep up on recycling. She's super green. Very, very Flagstaff if you know the city at all. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about her and she will be featured, like I mentioned, a lot in these vlogs. So get used to her and be ready to love her. Okay, so like I mentioned before, we're gonna be visiting our sister this weekend, so we are all packed up. This is my sister, Sarah. This is our other roommate outside of Lizzie. Um, so we're all packed up, so I guess uh, you guys there. about two hours ago I would say and my sister actually had to finish working so we couldn't vlog right when I came in because she was on the phone with an unknown company I don't think I can say their name but I'll introduce you to my sister she just gave me a look this is Hannah say hi to the vlog Hannah hi. and you guys already know Sarah you've already met her so I live with her so 
Um, and then you're gonna meet the star of this weekend, Hannah's boyfriend, Matt. Hey. Him and I are besties. Oh my god. And tonight we're making stir fry. So right now he's getting the carrots ready. Um, we've got some bell peppers, onion. It's gonna be kind of a weird stir fry because they were out of a lot of things. So no bok choy, no eggplant. eggplant, nothing that normally would go in a stir fry, but it's gonna be fine. Um, so there's gonna be a lot of cooking B-roll in this vlog, so hope you're ready for it. Okay, Matt, do, describe the dish for us here. Uh, we're having a very simple vegetable stir fry with chicken on the side for everyone that's normal. Okay, what he means by that, I have not disclosed this to the vlog yet, but I am a vegetarian, so I think that was a, a go at me, but we're gonna move past it. <laughs> look how disgusting that is. Just kidding, I'm a vegetarian because I'm allergic to meat, not because I hate meat. Don't look at the wrong one, it does look disgusting. It does. Okay, well what's in the stir fry? So right now I'm trying to julian carrots and I forgot how to do that. Look how garbage that That's julian different. is, Here's guys. the good ones, the matchstick. Here's the bad one, the flat ones, and here's the best one. Wow. The Look, ones wait, that you see slow at Slow it down, like... slow it down. Let's get a good, nice shot. Ugh, if it'll focus. Focus, camera. With On some, the uh, carrot. <laughs> it's not focusing. With some buffalo wings. This is great. <laughs> buffalo wings. Some ranch These are buffalo on the side. Wing carrots. <laughs> All right, and then Other we got that, some, we have some peppers. There we go. And then over here we have the broccoli, um, Brussels sprouts, and asparagus that we're gonna throw in the stir fry. And we decided to do rice instead of noodles because um, Hannah and I like rice. I don't know Matt's opinion on rice. Sarah prefers noodles, but we don't care about Sarah's opinion because she doesn't help in the kitchen. That's rude. So, <laughs> sorry. Oh, and Matt says rice is better, and he's the resident stir fry king. So. Oh, good. You made it completely. Uh, Appropriate. What does that mean? Nothing. Racism? Is what you're accusing me of? A little. No. Why am I the stir fry king? Whatever. Yeah. Because you, because I've never, because I don't make stir fry very often. You do. Because Hannah says you have, not because I assume so. That sounds like a huge assumption. Okay, we need you to clarify for the vlog that I'm not racist. Please make a statement. Uh. Hi, I'm Asian, and there is no way that Miriam Jordan is racist. There we go. You heard it here, but the Asian community <laughs> does the not. Whole the I do whole represent the community. He does he actually represent the community. So, oh my God, I'm gonna cut all of this because I'm gonna Good. get canceled. Good. Good. <laughs> Okay, so we just finished cooking and we're eating and we're gonna get the Matt review on what he thinks of the stir fry. All right, that is what we call a silent 10 out of 10. Um, the Brussels sprouts, also pro tip, Brussels sprouts add a lot to stir fry, which we found out as a little pop of sweetness. So that's a little pro tip for you all. Um, Hannah's giving me a weird look. Do you wanna explain your weird look to the vlog? Yeah, it was the, the this thing. The what? No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I'm gonna. That's gonna be it for tonight. But I'll keep you guys updated tomorrow. Peace. Okay. Good morning, guys. So um, I didn't film us making breakfast because my sister was asleep on that their couch, um, and so I didn't want us to wake her up by me going, "Look at their tortillas." But we did make breakfast burritos. We have a whole setup. I made homemade tortillas. So let me show you those. There they are. They're not very round because these people don't have a rolling pin. Oh, but we use this. Yay. It's, it's empty. It's cooking wine. I just want to clarify for everyone. Okay. It's good enough. It's good enough. And then it's I just did enough. flour, water, baking soda, and salt in these. And there's a really good recipe. And if you want me to, I'll link it in the description. 
This is a little mix here. Matt, why don't you describe for us what we're looking at? Okay, this is honestly just potatoes and bell peppers. Oh, wow. <laughs> very, very exotic. Okay, and then we have some eggs, and they don't look good because I forgot the butter. OMG. We got some bacon for the uh, non vegetarian, don't say normal people, for the non vegetarians. That's classist. And then we have some shredded cheese. And so these all come together to make a beautiful breakfast burrito. Okay, so we are in the middle of eating the burritos, and I'm gonna get reviews from everybody. Matt, what do you think of the burritos? I'm gonna give it a five out of seven. That's a perfect score. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a dead meme. Hannah, what do you think? Oh, gee, thanks. Oh, we're doing like a show one to ten. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. A six out of ten? Yeah. Oh. Boo. 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 All right, Sarah, what are your thoughts? Ten out of ten, we'll eat again. Yes, see, that's what we call a right opinion. Okay, vlog. This is where Hannah is canceled. She's canceled in the first episode of the vlog. And I think this was destined to happen anyway because she's Hannah. Sister. And Sarah is the better sister and Matt is the best one. The best sister. Okay, and then I forgot to give my review for the burritos. So I'm with Sarah. I say 10 out of 10. I say Hannah sucks. 6 out of 10. She didn't even make the burritos. Hannah, can you do something for me? 10. Hannah, throw it back. No. Throw it back. Throw what back? Throw it back. Fork? Shut up my butt? No! Throw it back! No! Throw it back, Matt! Huh? Throw it back like a Cadillac! I don't know what it means, but I'm pretty sure it involves butts. Throw it back where? I think I'm pretty sure it involves butts. Oh! Throw it, throw it back! Like that? No, no, no. I think you need to show us how to do it. I don't know. I don't know what that means, and I'm not gonna do it. Fine. We'll get. Don't worry, vlog. This is going to be my main goal. And now is to make sure these two throw it back sometime. I'm making dinner tonight, so in order for them to eat, they're gonna have to throw it back. So don't worry, we will get these shots. <laughs> Okay, so I'm actually about to go make the pasta for dinner tonight. We're gonna do a homemade pasta, so from scratch. Um, it's gonna be a fettuccine alfredo with broccoli, garlic bread, and maybe chicken on the side. I'm gonna take you through a little bit of the pasta process since I'm taking the lead on dinner tonight. I'm making the homemade pasta. Um, and if one of you're, you're one of my friends, uh, then you know this is a staple in my diet and it's kind of almost my personality at this point is being able to make homemade pasta and doing it all the time. So um, I'll take you through that right now. Okay, so you're just gonna start with a bowl of flour. It's usually called a well and you make a hole in the middle where you're gonna put the eggs and then you put the eggs in. I usually do three eggs and one egg yolk to make the pasta a little bit richer. And then next thing you do is you mix the egg yolk up um, and you integrate the flour along the way. Um, and as you can see, like I'm slowly integrating it, um, getting it from the sides of the wall. And then once this becomes a little bit thicker, you're going to transfer it to a different bowl and kind of knead it for a while. So that's the ball after I kneaded it for a while. So after that, you're going to cover it for about 30 minutes. And then you just wait. Um, so once that's done, put some flour on it, cut it into four pieces, and then individually roll each piece out with a rolling pin and laminate it. Um, I have a pasta roller, so I just need to get them thin enough to put through the roller. And once you get it thin enough, you put it in the pasta roller and you just go down each setting to get the pasta thin enough. I usually go to setting two. I find that's like a perfect um, uh, distance for my pasta to get rolled out and it gets it really nice and thin. You should be able to see your fingers through it. And then once it's all rolled out, you just flour it again so that way it doesn't stick and then put it through the pasta cutter. Um, as you can see, we're making fettuccine noodles, so that's why they're a little bit thicker. Um, and then once you cut them, just make sure to flour them and kind of just toss them a little bit, otherwise they're gonna stick together. So make sure to do this with all new pasta that you're making because it's really easy to stick together and that way it will just become a big clump of a mess in the water. So this is what I recommend to do. And then just put it in a bowl. And there it is in the bowl, how beautiful. I was trying to get some aesthetic shots of the pasta. And when you're done, just boil it in the water for about seven to 10 minutes and you're done. Okay, so pasta is ready. Well, the reviews are in. Let's see. Matt, what do you think of the pasta? I think it's really good. 
Uh, fresh noodles definitely make a big difference. Also, fresh mozzarella and parmesan make a difference in the sauce. Nice mm -hmm. and creamy. Sauteing the broccoli gave it enough flavor, but it doesn't take away from the rest of the dish, which the main point, I think, is the noodles. Wow. Hannah, how are you going to top that? Yeah, I got to pull that one up. Um, so I had to go give, a, give a wine mom review. As a connoisseur of these kinds of things. Oh my god, Sarah, what do you think? <laughs> What do you think of the food? I'm chewing. Give me a moment. I think Lilith really wants some. Lilith, do you want some pasta? <laughs> All right, we'll go back to you, Karen. Let's see. What do you think? No, you're moving on to Sarah. You can't she call me to Karen. Talk to your manager now. Okay, what do you think of the pasta? Well, it's, it's fantastic. It's really, really good. We made fresh noodles, and it's talk about than it like one. Gordon Ramsay. What? All right, Sarah, back to you. <laughs> That's as much as we're getting for Sarah from Sarah I'm Vlog. Sure I can done. definitely guarantee it. Let's do a little reminder for the vlog. So the first thing that we had was the stir fry. Right. Stir -fry. Oh, it's cool stir fry now. Yeah. With some chicken on the side. Uh, then it was the breakfast burritos this morning. Oh. Finished up with fresh pasta. Yep. Huh. All my noodles and everything. I think for me the breakfast burritos. Uh, you think they took it? I think the tortillas, the, tortillas, the tortillas, tortillas, bell pepper, the pepper mixture. Absolutely. Or do you agree where the breakfast burritos did they take it for you today? It's honestly really hard to choose. I mean, I would say it's all really, really good. But I think that if I had to choose, I think I'd probably choose the Alfredo. But I'm a little biased. It's kind of my favorite food. All right, Sarah. And if you had to pick a favorite meal before you take another bite. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna even this out because I think my favorite was the stir fry. I don't get to eat that very often. So I think that was my favorite. Matt did a really great mm. job with no eggplant and no bok choy at Albertsons. I'm calling them out. Albertsons, we have beef, Albertsons. It's not copyright, right? I don't, you could say Albertsons. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could be talking about a guy at Albertsons. Alberton, man, we have Beef, boy, just in case. More beef than Albertson's had. Okay, well, I think that's it for right now, guys. Um, I'll link all the recipes down in the description. Most of them just came from our heads, but I'll try my best. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, guys, so it's Sunday morning, so unfortunately, it is the end to our weekend here because Sarah and I have real lives and jobs to get back to. So I guess let's say goodbye to our wonderful hosts, our Bye. cooking guru. That was <laughs> underwhelming. And Hannah. Hi. Who is extremely underwhelming for all of the vlog. <laughs> okay. All right then. But you'll probably end up seeing them again and we'll probably be cooking a lot more food. So oh, until so then, we'll see you later. I look minutes, gross maybe? right now, but it's because we're stuck in the middle of the Arizona summer in traffic. Right outside Phoenix. Right outside of the valley, which is the hottest in the entire world, pretty much. And um, there might be a fire going on there. There's, it looks like there's a fire. And like, <laughs> I'm dying. It's really, really, really hot. Lilith is good because her air conditioning, it works great. Look how much she's, she's surviving. <laughs> I'm dying, you guys. The vlog needs to know, and that's why my bangs look disgusting. So I guess we're never going to get home. We might as well have stayed in the valley this entire weekend, but um, we'll, we'll check with updates. Right now it is 2.53, so I will update you when we finally get out of this traffic. Or if we don't. <laughs> or if we don't. Okay, guys, so that night we ended up not getting home till about 10 o'clock. Um, and we left the valley at 2, so it was an 8 hour drive, and for context, it's usually 2 hours, so it was exhausting, it was crazy, so I didn't have the energy to film when we got back. So, that's the end of my first vlog, and I really hope you liked it. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see any other aspect of my life. Please remember to like and subscribe. Um, until next time, peace and love, guys.